Sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. This is why you fail at your goals. How many times have you started a new year like this? Oh, I feel so out of sorts in my life, but it's a new year, a new me, I've got my goals, let's go. Well, I couldn't have anticipated how busy I was gonna get. Sometimes life gets in the way of doing life. I still have nine months. <laughs> I can't even bring myself to look at these. Okay, time to rip the band-aid and see if I can salvage this list at all. Oh, no, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Okay, um, I had a salad for lunch. I think that can maybe count for this one. Yeah, but y you had a lot of ranch on it, so I don't really know if that counts. <sighs> You're like right. Okay, okay, I'll start that one tomorrow, but then I'll, I'll really do that one. Vicious cycle. Why is it basically a cliche at this point that you're not actually gonna complete your goals? Well, I think I know why. But you're not gonna like it. I do want to start off by saying, though, that I, I'm not criticizing anyone for setting goals, okay? The very fact that, you know, you're attempting to better yourself probably means you're more motivated than most of the population. So no, I'm not one of your hilarious friends who loves to make super original jokes. What is that you've got there? Oh, it's, uh, it's just a list of things that I want to accomplish this year. You mean like... <laughs> Resolutions? <laughs> More like... <laughs> Pollution! Right? Because you're not gonna do any of those things. And it's a waste of paper. It's not good for the environment to waste paper. Do you- do you not care about the environment? Great person to be around. No, I I'm coming at this from a position of love and hope. Every time you snap, second goes by. And every second that goes by, you're one step closer to death. I want you to accomplish your goals. Life is short. Thank you. I'm glad someone understands. New year, new me. Well, <laughs> hang on, okay? Because it, that's kind of silly too. Like as if just because we swap calendars, somehow your very nature is gonna change. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I feel so lazy and unmotivated. Yes, yes, oh yeah. Alive with life, nobody can stop me now! See, here's the problem. We set ourselves up for failure. It's in our nature. Okay, this time I really mean it. I'm finally going to achieve my dreams. Why? Why will this time be different? I'm not trying to be mean. I'm making the point that it's not about setting goals. Goals are just future disappointments. And I know this flies in the face of every self-help book and motivation guru out guru out there. Oh, I can't believe this smug YouTuber says that d goals are useless. That, that's, that's, that's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? I'm trying to say you're not going to do something just because you wrote down that you want to do it. You may do the thing you wrote down, but it's not because you wrote it down. It's because your attitude and your habits and your behavior took you in the direction of the goal. Let me, let me put it this way. There are two types of people in this world. There are the people who are goal setters. I really want to live intentionally and authentically this year and just be a better version of me. Let's tackle our goals head on, guys. Come on. And then there are the people who don't sit around talking about doing things. They just do them. See, it feels good to plan to do things because there's no risk there. It's not hard. It just triggers that part of your brain that feels like it's accomplishing things without actually having to do any work. But in order to truly accomplish your goals, three things, you need them. Confidence, discipline, and patience. But it's hard to have even one of these things, let alone three at the same time. And that's why people fail at their goals. Because they think that these three ingredients, these three magic items, are just gonna appear out of nowhere one morning for breakfast. I really need to get my life together. These goals are my only hope of making progress in my life. Wait, wait a minute. If I change the A-L-S to D, it spells God. These goals are my God. Very well. You can't just expect the stars are going to align for you and that things are just gonna work out one day you, you're, like, you're gonna wake up and feel motivated for once in your miserable life. You, you gotta just... You gotta get started. Don't make a big deal about it, just do it. And then stick with it, even when it gets tough. Now, let's see. Hurt someone's feelings, inspire someone, make at least one video this week.
Looks like I've already accomplished three of my goals this year. How many have you accomplished? <laughs> Feels good. Stay tuned for a scene from our next episode. So if one of your goals this year is to finally get started on your passion project, then let's do it. Seriously, no more talking about it. Let's start today. And of course, most projects these days need an awesome website, which I know can be overwhelming, but with Squarespace, it's the easiest part of the process. So if you've got a passion project that needs a website, head on over to Squarespace and build your website there. Squarespace has beautiful award-winning templates that will have your site up and running in minutes. Pick a design, make it your own, and you're ready to go. There's no coding, no headaches. You just got a great website in minutes. Squarespace has everything you need to keep your site up and running too. It's an all-in-one platform, which means that once you're using Squarespace, you have everything you need. No patches or upgrades to worry about. You can display your portfolio, your resume, or launch an online shop. And you can also get a custom domain really easily as well. So if you want to get started right at the beginning of the year, make your next move at squarespace.com cow. And use that link because if you do, you're going to get 10% off your first purchase. Don't forget, that's squarespace.com cow. Next week on Messy Mondays, Big Head Kid makes his goals for the year. I really should start my YouTube channel again. I just need to do it. No more empty words. What's up, guys? Welcome to my 365. It's me again. This is like day 56. I stopped at day 55, but now it's time for me to start again. Thank you, God, for New Year's Eve, for January 1st. This is the only motivation I have in my life to do anything. If I could just duplicate this day, copy and paste, I would be a totally different human.